Ladies and gentlemen, this morning, I've talked uh, about a number of things. I've talked about some of the headwinds that we are facing in Saskatchewan as we work together uh, to maintain the momentum that we have enjoyed over the course of the last decade. Talked of the growth and the tremendous progress that, that we have seen, that you have seen in your community. There are challenges, no doubt, and we talk about those often. But we should never forget how fortunate we are here. In our province, in addition to some headwinds, we have some very strong tailwinds. Beneficial forces that, that push us forward in the right direction, come whatever. And the most favorable force of all may be the character of our people. So let me close with this story. The story of Saskatchewan's first ever frozen tongue challenge. <laughs> this sounds about as exciting as a moose truce dance. But you, some of you may have seen some of the media coverage. We had Watrous Deputy Fire Chief Andrew Matheson took on uh, Jeff uh, Siegfried, the sales manager at Watrous Mainline Motors. It was Jeff's inspiration, actually, and he readily admits that the frozen tongue challenge wasn't, I quote, a, a lame brain idea. <laughs> the two men had a contest to see who could raise the most money for a new fire truck. The fire truck in Watrous was 41 years old, not on like many fire trucks across the province. So Jeff and Andrew, they beat the bushes for pledges and donations and with the understanding that the man with the lower total would, would stick his tongue to a frozen pole. <laughs> Jeff raised $8,670. But Andrew did a little bit better. He took in 9100 so when the fateful moment came on a cold, cold day about two weeks ago, and if we go back two weeks, it was pretty cold, Jeff stuck his tongue to a pole. And after a few minutes, they poured warm water to free that tongue, and, and Jeff said this, again, I quote, the pole was so cold that it was, it was freezing the water into an ice cube around my tongue. I was relieved when I pulled a little harder and I could feel it was releasing. It wasn't tearing. I, I tried to tell the kids watching that this wasn't fun, even though I, I did it. It's not something that should be attempted. <laughs> so kids, don't try that at home. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, you put aside the unique nature of, of this fundraiser and, and just think for a moment about the, the spirit behind it. In this province, in this province of Saskatchewan, in our home, there is a man who loves his community so much that he would stick his tongue on a pole in the middle of winter. It's truly inspiring, actually. <laughs> you know, friends, uh, Jeff and Andrew, these are the people that you and I represent. People who frequently ask these three questions. What more can I do? What else can I give? And who else can I help? Our challenge at all levels of government in this nation is to provide leadership that is worthy of the citizens that we serve that is worthy of Jeff and Andrew. Our challenge is to keep up with the people in our communities and to keep up with the people across our province, to support them as they build our province and, and take us to a better place. We have a bright future in Saskatchewan because people are ambitious, because people are energetic, but also because Saskatchewan people are compassionate. That's the Saskatchewan advantage. That's the right balance that we have always had in this province. And that is the Saskatchewan tailwind. And whatever happens, whatever uncertainty arises, that is the tailwind that is steadily pushing us forward. Let us never forget that. And let us remind us that our best days are always ahead. Thank you so much for listening here today and thank you for coming.